One of the things I do in my job is speak to people who are configuring Intune and have got a bit stuck. Now some of the time this is because the Intune portal descriptions and tooltips are a bit lacking. Let's take this button, for example, the Intune connector for Active Directory. And its description, configure hybrid Azure AD joined devices. Okay, good. Well, you'd be forgiven for thinking that if you're building a hybrid Azure AD joined devices and you want to use Intune, then you're going to need this, right? And so you click through the interface. Let's go. We choose that and then, okay, not a lot here. Um, it's the Intune connector for Active Directory. Good. We're on same kind of track. Let's choose add. Okay, good. So where well, it's in preview. Uh, okay. Configuring the Intune connector for Active Directory. Good. Still on the right track. Configure your account and server to connect to the on-premises Intune connector for Active Directory. Okay, fine. What does that mean? Do I need this? What is it for? Let's click learn more. So here we get to deploy the hybrid Azure AD joined devices by using Intune and Windows Autopilot. And we get a lot of information about how. But we don't get any information as to whether we need it. Is it, what's it for? So that's what this video is about. What is this for? Well, first I'll tell you what it's not for. If you're creating hybrid Azure AD joint devices by synchronizing them from Azure AD Connect and you're building them in the traditional way, like via Config Manager or MDT or USB, you don't need this connector. If you're building cloud only devices, whether that's via Autopilot or however you're doing it, you don't need this connector. This connector is required only if you're building hybrid Azure AD joint devices via Autopilot, because it's responsible for retrieving the, um, the offline domain join request from Intune on a relatively regular basis and processing that, creating a, a computer account in AD, which will let the device join the on-premises directory at some point before the user logs in. That's what it's for. See you next time.